All right, hello everyone, welcome back. Eat some Cheetos. We're gonna go ahead and play the next puzzle. What do we got? Uh, Oversight Terminal Model 6. All right. All right, this seems relatively straightforward. I have all the pieces, I believe. Yeah, so it's just uh, two rows of three for the monitors. Uh, I think it's just a row of three for that bottom block there, and then two of those, which will probably be the most challenging part somehow. Is there a dead body under here? No. Is there a dead body anywhere? Up here? Where the hell are all the dead bodies, man? We need some dead bodies. It's been a while since I've seen one. I have not seen a dead body. Okay. So I guess the, uh, we should probably start with the three monitors. So I think, I think we can do this pretty easily. I think we, we can just get them to kind of automatically stack by doing that. Um, and then one more will push it off. So we just need to weld them right here. Uh, and then I sh actually it's only going to push it off by one. So I'm going to need something else to pull it off. That. Did, oh. It's because they weld too early. What if I got rid of this one? Because then it forces them to fall beforehand. Wow, that actually worked way better than I thought it would. Okay, so then when it lands, I need it to land on a set of these guys. Which means that actually, because it's really easy for me to do, I should just do this the opposite way. I should do this the exact opposite way, right over here. So then I have my blocks. Uh, I think it was it was that corner that I left off, and then that's only leaving a space for one, which means it would have to. Which means that it's going to be kind of difficult for me to get those out. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I am going to leave more space. That's two. Let me go ahead and move this guy right here. Leaving exactly three, which is perfect for my needs. We're gonna move all of this over. But I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. We're gonna move all of that over by one. So we'll just have this do like a rotation like that. Uh, which actually, this should be down. What am I even doing? This should be down, not like that, like that. All right, this does work, right? The way I think it is going to work. All right, and then that'll get pushed down. So then I just have to make sure that these guys are already on their way down. So we'll do, uh, all right, these need to do a little bit of a, a loop as well. Right, so then they'll, they'll stack onto that, and then I, I need to weld them. And push them off of the pusher. Actually, no I don't. I don't need to do that. I can just do this. Alright, does this work the way I think it does? Alright, those are all welded together, and then those get pushed off, and BAM! Fantastic. Um, interesting. So then I'm wondering, how do I deal with them from there. I can do this and then they'll all stack and I can weld them together. And that's perfectly fine but then I need them to move. I need them to move from that point. How do I get them to do that? Because they're going to be triggering any kind of sensor I use before they should be triggering it. Okay. Hmm. Well, now I'm... I am stumped. How do I get those to move? Oh, you know what? I think this is actually pretty... Is it easy? No. No, no, no. Okay, so my thought was that I just moved this over. I have... Just like one of these right here, giving me an extra space behind. But that really doesn't help me that much. That really doesn't help me very much. Okay. 
Because here's the thing, if I put a sensor, like, up top, this one is going to trigger it. But... That may not actually matter. That may not matter. Here's what I can do. I can have a sensor right here. Right on this block, right here. Right like that. That will trigger a piston to push these guys out the way. Right, uh, right here. No. No, that doesn't work. That's right. That doesn't work because it's still going to get triggered by this other guy, which I was hoping would not be the case, but it is in fact the case. Okay, well then we'll just have it trigger a little bit earlier. Over here. Which I've said this before, not at all the most efficient way to do this, I'm sure. But it works. It works. That is perfect, and then all I need to do is just make sure I have my welders uh, in place. Alright, so then that that's that. But what we don't have... Let's do that just to, to kind of prepare. Uh, I want these guys in place as well. So, this shouldn't be too hard. These should be the, the easy ones, I think. So we'll just send those off and then send them this way. Uh, which is exactly where I need them to be. And then we'll put one of those there so that we get both of them at the same time where they will weld uh, onto each other. They will weld onto each other. So, like that. And then those are all welded together. Perfect. And then when they get pushed off... Uh, Just make sure that they get pulled this way. Actually, it's going to be the next one over, isn't it? I guess we'll find out. Yes! Alright, we did it! That one wasn't too bad. That one wasn't too bad. It was just... That was actually kind of simple. It goes back to the basics, which is fine. It didn't incorporate very many new concepts, though, I noticed on that one. So that one's just right. We'll, we'll say it was a little easy, but we'll call it just right. Okay. And now drone maintenance. This one down here. Furnished studio apartment. I cannot wait to see what that is. You can actually check right now if I want to. Alright. Alright, so this is our starting one. It is... Looking pretty damaged. What do I have to do to it? I kind of like these ones where they put it on the track. I don't know why. It's just kind of cool. Um, so, is it just the back piece? Is it just the back piece? It kind of looks like it's just the jack pe back piece. Excuse me. Pulling up a menu I shouldn't be pulling up. Um, you know what? I know an easy way we can tell. I know an easy way... We can... It is not just the back. It is all three in the front as well. Okay. And there are our pieces. Good. Okay. Let's get working then. So I'm going to start off with the... Uh, rep the removing of these parts. So, I mean, one easy, obvious answer I could I could come up with is to simply have a, a thing set to grind off this whole top. But I can't do that because of this guy right here. This block. So I need to... Grind off the front, stop, and then grind off the back separately. Which... I can't really think of a way to do that, actually. Can I, um... Okay, let me let me come up with an idea here. I, I, have, I have a thought. Uh, one higher. Okay. What if... What if I had a piston set to push an eviscerator? That is too far forward, so we'll do that, and then we'll do that. Is this a thing I can do? So, um, actually, you know what? We can just test it right now. 
I'm not gonna worry about timings or spacing or anything because I don't even know if it'll work. Let's go ahead and give that a go. See if that pushes it forward. It's not. It's not pushing that forward. At all. Okay. So that idea is gone, unfortunately. I thought that was a pretty good idea. I don't even know how I would time that anyway to have it pull back where I would put the sensor, but, you know, it's just an idea. All right, the only other idea I can think of is I think on this one it would be a lot easier to push it off the track. It would actually be very easy to push it off the track. You just push it over by one. So, what we can do is we'll do this as we've done before. Except I think it needs to be closer. Set up our eviscerator. It's actually still not close enough. Set up our eviscerator right there. And then I think what we need to do is actually piston this thing right off. So we'll put our piston... Actually, it can just be right there. Holding up everything. Get rid of that footprint. Uh, so when do I need to trigger right here so is that this I think it's this block so if I have a sensor right here yes that is perfect awesome and then I think what that means is that I would also have to have a, another eviscerator right here to get the off the back piece uh wait Wait, what? Why did it take longer? Oh! This is in the way. This is in the way. Okay, let me get rid of that. And just stick that to the wall. Okay, that is perfect. That's exactly what I need. And then at some point, we'll just push it back on so that everything is back in place. Yes. Okay. All right, so now all we have to do is worry about getting the new pieces on there. So we're gonna need three of these. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just do a basic three-way thing going on here. Uh, set it up with the welders, and then this last one can pull it off. Which actually may not work because we need it to be forward at least one more. So that it can actually pull it off because it's three in, in width, length, one of those. Whichever one of those is the correct one. And these ones don't have a direction they need to be, right? Like they're... Um, I'll check it in a second. The last time I dealt with tubes, I found that it needed to be rotated one way or the other. Now, they look the same on both sides. Good. I should double check. Actually, I can not double check over here. Because it's blocked. Okay. So then, I think it needs to be rotated. So, if I could... Ro which, which height does it need to be at? This is the right height, so we'll get rid of one. Where's my rotator? Where is my... Uh, we always need to get rid of something. All right, we don't need an, another eviscerator for now. I don't believe. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. Okay. Well, let's pull it one more through then, so it's farther away from the wall. Doing this a lot. Because I don't plan ahead well enough. And we are going to have to block that. Let me actually set up the blocker right now. Uh, on both sides. I, I think putting it on both sides is probably just a good habit. So that it, you know, it doesn't get pushed and stuff. Even though that's kind of the point of the thing. And I can always move those at any time. So this guy is going to get pulled down. We'll put those three there. 
And then we need to sense when it's here. When that, when this thing has arrived, we need to sense it and push this thing on. So let me actually make sure I, I have the right position, which is right there. So we need to block it right here. This is this is the one that we, we actually need to have our blockers on, not over here. So this works out right. I just want to make sure that's perfect. Yes, they are stopped in just the right position. When you get here, I will have a sensor go off. That's going to trigger that, though. Which means... Bad news. That means bad news. How do I get that... to sense properly? Uh, we can have a downward sensor. Maybe you only find a downward sensor here. If I have one of those... Um... That's not a downward sensor. What the hell am I doing? There we go. This is a downward sensor, which, I mean, it's floating right now, but it won't be once we get the tubes attached. Um, hmm. Yeah. So I just need that to, to set off a piston over here. Without getting in the way of a bunch of stuff. Hopefully. Oh! This is here too early. Okay. This is definitely here too early. How do I... Hmm. Well, actually, in that case, we can actually get rid of all of this. We can get rid of all of this, even that, and we can just set it up to do this. I didn't realize it would get here that early. So then it does that. Oh! Really? Hmm. Just have it come over one more, I guess. At which point it needs to weld. Needs to well. Let's just stick that thing to the ceiling, I guess. So do these weld properly? Does this all work out? Why? Why did I think that would work? It's amazing the things I think will work. This is why I test so often to see. All right. So now those are together. Now I just need to stick the other thing, this guy, on the back of it. We only need one at a time. I'm betting we're gonna get it a bit early, so I'm gonna go and stick a couple of those on there. Uh. Like that. Wait. Now. We can have it one lower. And then we can have our other welder right here. I think. That'll just stick it right on there. Um, and then these actually did not arrive nearly as early as they should have, so maybe I was wrong about that. We'll trade that out with one. Bam. Alright, and then I need a way to detect when all of this is in place, which is relatively simple. All I need to do is have this guy right here that powers... This guy and the other one. This guy and this guy down here. This is going to be in the way of everything, isn't it? Actually, it might not be. No way. Uh, oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> sure. That actually doesn't need to be there. Does that solve our problem? Oh, it does need to be. I kind of... I don't know why I thought it would pull the other, the other block with it. Okay. So that creates a new issue. Of... The one behind being so damn early. Hmm. 
If this could be delayed by exactly one block, which we can do, we can do that. We can delay it by one block. All we have to do is set this up uh, so that if it's being censored at all, I think we can do this. This is a thing, right? Delaying this by one block. That, that is an actual, of course. Okay, that's fine. We can do it on the other side as well. This will delay it by exactly one block. Problem solved. I think we did it. I don't want to count my action. I don't. Wow, that was almost a sentence. I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but it looks to me as if we have solved the puzzle. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. We are like spot on average. Like this is the only way to do it. Level average. Some some you know extremists have gotten down there, but you know what? I appreciate that. I almost clicked too hard. That would have been an incorrect button to click. Oh my gosh, and we are getting there, guys. I wonder if each of these is a zone. Are there four more zones? I would I would like that. I would really like that. 